Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land. It's your hashtag couch goalie rock not here again with a different type of video. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am actually going to do some customizations to my blocker and trapper. That's why you can't see my face currently in this video. I went out and I purchased myself some pad skins. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, pad skins. Um customization tool for uh you could use them for your leg pads you can use them for your blocker and trapper in this case i went out and got it for my blocker and trapper as some of you guys already know my my leg pads are leaf colors uh royal blue and white so i went and i got myself some royal blue and we're going to apply that to my blocker and trapper. So how you start the process with this is you take your block, take whichever piece of equipment you want to um, put it on. So in this case, my blocker. I don't know if you guys can see that all. And they suggest you take the wax paper that they supply and place it over the item that you want to kind of put the pad skin on. And then you trace out the design. Whoops. Yeah, so you just take your pencil and you just trace it along. You know, this is probably a job I could have got my daughter to do. She loves drawing and shit. So you just kind of Follow the outline of the design that you want on your pad here. And you want to be careful not to really kind of go through the tissue paper, I guess, from some of the tutorials. Oops, shit. I fucked that up. So, you just kind of trace it along there and along here Oop, shit. I'm definitely getting demonetized on this oh wait I don't make money off my videos anymore so that's all right and just kind of work it back around if I was a smart man, I would have taped this down to the pad, but I'm not a smart man. All right. Um, I think that's all the blue I want to add to that, but I think I might do the CCM too. I'll do that later. So. You can see kind of the outline there of, of the design. I'm going to fill it in a little better here. And then you take your little pad shit, your little roll of stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it close to the edge so I don't have a whole lot of waste here. Oh, sorry about that guy's talking in the ball hockey group. Oh, apparently Josh can't make hockey tomorrow. That sucks. He's one of my favorite guys to play against. So now I'm just going to trace it along this and hope that it kind of transfers. God, this stuff out of the package has an interesting smell. Kind of smells like that um, fake Halloween makeup or something. Let me do this. You know, what sort of customizations have you guys done to your pads? Do you have a specific color that you like to do? Do you leave it up to the professionals? To do your customizations. 
Uh, and have you gone out and bought yourself some pad skins and done this yourself? As a first time goalie, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I'm hoping and I don't screw it up too bad. Luckily I'm not doing uh, my leg pads. So I've got lots of material here to play with. All right. And yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> All right. So I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, take some scissors here and kind of cut out this along the wax paper. And uh, I'll be back with that. All right. So I'm back here, ladies and gentlemen. So... I've cut out the one piece, as you can see here, and it kind of lies in spot pretty well. And I've cut my stuff down to a more manageable um, piece, so I can actually cut it to fit the spot. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do that now. We'll move the blocker out of the way. And we'll just cut our piece of material here. So it's got a little adhesive on the back here. Oh, for frig's sakes. And you just kind of stick it. And apparently. It sticks pretty damn good. Look at that. We got some nice blue. Oh, it doesn't go quite down to the end there. Ah, well, we can add a little strip down there to fix that. What do you think? That's uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so now that I've showed you that part, I'm just going to go off camera here and uh, finish doing up this. And then uh, we'll talk about the uh, the, ca the catcher slash trapper in another video. I'm going to continue off camera for here for a bit and I will... Uh, be back and show you the remainder of what I do with this thing. Have a good one. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the finished product. I added this blue, these blue lines here. I think I did a fairly decent job for a first time doing this stuff. Um, definitely... When you're doing, if you decide to do this on your own, definitely take your time. Um, use lots of scotch tape in order to hold your templates together while you're cutting. Because I did end up having to do a couple of pieces a couple of times in order to get the right shape. But overall, I'm happy with the product. It seems like it's going to be durable. It feels like, um, it feels like leather and from the reviews I have I've heard nothing but good things so now I will get on to uh, customizing my catcher slash trapper here is the catcher itself and I think what I'm gonna do is probably just add a little bit of blue in here and maybe here I'm not sure if I'm going to do any within the catching surface itself. Uh, but we'll see how ambitious I feel about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen me cut out templates before and stuff. So I will uh, do the rest off camera and show you the finished product when I'm done. I'm back again, ladies and gentlemen, just to show you off the finished product of the glove. So I added a nice little blue stripe there, as well as 
the blue lines there. And then for the blocker, I just added those three blue lines there. Uh, overall, the process was fairly simple, but it's also fairly simple to mess up. Um, so you do want to use a lot of scotch tape in order to hold your templates in place as well as uh, making sure that you carefully trace out um, each uh, part that you want to do. Because there is a little bit of errors on the blocker, which, you know, unless somebody's going to completely nitpick it, they may not notice. Fabric, it's like the skins themselves, they seem to be really durable. Like this is a very small piece that I have left over and I can't seem to, you know, tear it or anything. So that's, that's pretty sweet. Oh uh, yeah, my phone's going off like crazy. Guys in the ball hockey club are talking, trying to figure out who's coming out tomorrow night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, again, um, overall, I'm impressed with how it makes the pads look. And, and, you know, it was fairly fairly easy to install installation, I would say, uh, for ease, I would say probably 8 out of 10. Definitely cut uh, the sections you want out of the large roll because you do get quite a large roll of the stuff. Like, <laughs> you get enough to basically do your pad, do your leg pads. And I just cut off a chunk that was about two feet by two feet by two feet. And that did everything I need to do. And I've still got a little bit left here. So I might do some stuff with it as well. Um, the pad skins themselves were $59.99 over at um, ProHockeyLife.com is where I got them. As well as a pair of suspenders. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again, I thank you very much for coming out and checking out my video on how to how I installed some pad skins. Once again, I'll show them off here. Always put your trapper on first, folks. <laughs> so now they kind of match my my pads I've got. So yeah. Leaf blue, go Leafs go, even though they're out of playoffs. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for coming out and watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. Stay up to date with all new videos coming out. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. If you have, subs have subscribed but haven't hit that goal buzzer, you're not being notified when a new video comes out, whether it's gameplay, drop-ins, or tutorials like these. And, of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to leave those in the comment section below, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks again for watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. Have a good one.